Good morning. So here I am with another problem of brain gym, your morning mental stretch. So we did one problem before and today I've got you an amazing J Advanced 2016 problem. It's on sequences and progression. And in this we'll learn multiple things. We'll learn how to attack a J Advanced level problem, right? And then in the process we'll learn some very interesting concepts. We'll use inequalities of AM and GM as well in this problem. Where? That we'll think. Some amazing concepts will be revised through this problem today. So gear up, read this problem. Go ahead. So it says, you know, there is a sequence log B, log B2, log B3. It's in AP. Its common difference is log 2. It says another sequence, A wala sequence is in AP. All right. Some information A1 equal to B1, A51 equal to B51. Then a summation T of terms of B and then a summation S terms of A. Now, first thing, when you are solving advanced level problems, you realize that the paragraph or the statements are too, too, too lengthy. By the time you end up reading the problem, you forget what was given, what was asked. Right. So, step one, bacho, just pull out the information that is meaningful for you and write it down in your notebook, end of the story. Let's see what is meaningful for you. See, read it. For me, the meaningful is, there is a sequence, it's in AP. Simply write down in your notebook. There is a sequence, create a mental image, sequence of B in log, AP, sequence of A, in AP, in both the sequences, something is given to you. A1 equal to B1, A51 is B51. Now I'm thinking, yeah, it is comparing A1, B1, A51, B51. It is equating it. It means this log term must not be required. It's my hint one. So I want to remove this log. Can you remove this log? Let's think about this. So let's say what is given. This is my step one. This log wala terms, which is in AP, must give me some hint. I want to remove the log because I want to compare the terms B with the terms A. What do you do? Let's use the property of AP. What is the property of AP? Sum of the consecutive terms, term 1, term 2, right, term 3, term 101. If these are in AP, then their common difference, difference between these two, D, difference between these two as well, D. Agree? So what I'm saying, I'm saying T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2 and so on till T101 minus T100. All are equal to common difference D, which is given to me as log 2. Areva, can you use the property of log from here? T2 minus T1, log B2 minus log B1, base E is equal to log B3 minus log B2 to the base E. Do you realize you can use a property here? Log B2 minus log B1, log B2 upon B1, log B3 minus log B2, log B3 upon B2. Wow. What does it give you? Look at this very carefully. Where have we reached? This is in AP. So the difference of the corresponding terms is equal. Second minus first, second minus first is equal to third minus second, third minus second is equal to difference of the last two and so on. Right. All are equal to the common difference given log two. Property of log. This. This becomes, let me change the color. This becomes this, this becomes this, right? And this becomes this, all are equal to log 2. Can I remove the log now? Remove the log. Awesome. What does it tell you? The ratios of the corresponding terms of the sequence B1, B2, B3, select B101 is constant, a common ratio, GP. This, it means that B1, B2, B3, cell AK, B101 is actually a GP 
right? Because the ratio of the corresponding terms is the same and that ratio is coming out to be 2 after removing all the logs. Awesome. So, we got the information 1. Because of this part of the problem, what have I got? I have got that removing the log, I know that the terms, the B wala terms, the terms of B from B1 to B101 is actually a GP, right? So, the information that we know till now is, let me summarize the information. This is GP, common ratio 2 given to us. Now, also given to us is A1 to 101 is in AP, it is given to us. Also given to us in both the sequences, in both these sequences, first terms are same and the 51st terms are also same. This is also given to us. Let me visualize, but you always visualize. See, this is my way of visualizing. Oh, B terms GP, A terms AP, first terms equal, 51st terms equal. Awesome, I know this. Now, what is the question? Now, question wants me to compare two summations. What are the two summations? It wants me to compare the summation of first 51 terms of B and the summation of first 51 terms of A. T and S, look at the options. It wants me to compare S and T. Alright, it wants me to compare S and T. So, let us create S and T now. After this information, let us create S and T. Okay, so this is T, this is S, but how do I compare? But suddenly I get an idea. I realize because B1 and B2 are same, because B1 and B51, sorry, B1 and A1 are same. So, look at this B1, B2, B1 and B50, B51, alright. This is GP, A1. A2, A50, A51, AP. Now, what do I know? I know, see very very carefully, B1, B51 are correspondingly equal to or respectively equal to A1 and A51. In simple words, the extreme numbers here and the extreme numbers here are the same, right? Now, do you realize since this is, since this is a GP, since this is a GP, can I say that all these numbers between B1 and B51, these are the geometric means, these are the geometric means. How many geometric means are there? Total terms are 51, remove the 2, remaining are 49. These 49 numbers between B1 and B51 are the geometric means inserted between B1 and B51. Similarly, from A2 to A50, do you realize these are also arithmetic means? These are also arithmetic means. These are arithmetic means inserted between A1 and A51. Amazing! Now, do you realize B1, B51 is same as A1, A51. So, between two same numbers, between two same numbers, between two same numbers, between two same numbers, on one side GMs are inserted, another side arithmetic means are inserted. But so what is greater? What is greater? Is geometric mean greater or arithmetic mean greater? Do you get the hint? Yes. When between two same numbers, you create a arithmetic means and between two same numbers, you create the geometric means. But so geometric means are always lesser than arithmetic mean. You know this inequality, right? That is it. That is what will lead me to comparing these two summations. I want to compare these two summations. But let me start term by term. All these numbers are geometric means. All these numbers are arithmetic means. So, the first geometric mean will be less than the first arithmetic mean. The first geometric mean is less than the first arithmetic mean because of this. The second geometric mean B3 will be less than the second arithmetic mean A3. So, B3 less than A3 
and so on and so forth. Now, if I add all the white numbers, that will be the addition will be lesser than when I add all the yellow numbers. That's it. Ho gaya solve. It's solved. So, what did I want? I wanted comparison between T and S. Right. So, this this got created. Only thing missing is B1, B51, A1, A51. Let me add these two. Can I add these two? Can I do this? Can I add B1 here? So, I can add A1 here because A1 and B1 are the same numbers. If I add B51 here, I can also add A51 here. Same numbers. That's it. This is T. This is S. S is greater than T. Done. First part of the question is done. I have used an amazing, uh, it is like a shortcut method, right? Using the property of arithmetic mean and geometric mean inequality. The other way to solve, if you search for this problem on the internet, you will find a very lengthier method where you, what you have done? You actually find out this summation and then you find out this summation and then you compare. Pretty lengthy. I directly use the property of arithmetic mean and geometric mean. Think about this. Now, let us come to the other part. What is the other part, Bacho? Other part in the problem is to compare. Look at the problem. We are comparing A101 or B101. We are comparing the last terms now. We are comparing the last terms of the two sequences. One is GP and one is AP. So, what are the two sequences, Bacho? So, these are the two sequences. One is GP, one is AP. I want to compare the last terms. I want to compare the last terms. All right. Remember, this is a GP. Its common ratio is 2. Its common difference is D. Can you write down the information that is given to you? What is given to us? First terms are equal. Can I call it A for our reference? Because again and again, we are using B1 equal to A1. Can I call both of them equal to A for our calculation purpose? B51 is A51. We should be able to use this. Let us write down. Let us write down B51. It is a GP. So, B51 will be what? The first term of the GP into the common ratio raised to power number of term minus 1. Right? What is a term in GP? First term into common ratio raised to power number of term minus 1. Number of term is 51. 51 minus 1, 50. I am writing B51 right now. So, B51 is this. Can I write A51? Arithmetic progression. First term plus n minus 1, number of terms minus 1, number of terms are 51, 51 minus 1, 50 into the common difference D, into the common difference D. So, what I have got? Since B51 is equal to A51, so these two are equal. If you equate these two, Right. So, let me call it, by the way, B1, A1 are confusing, right? So, let me write both of them as A. So, A 2 raised to power 50 is equal to A plus 50 D. It implies that 50 D can be written as, 50 D can be written as A common 2 raised to power 50 minus 1. So, I got D. I got a way to write D. So, I got D here. I got D. Now, let us write down B101 and A101. Let us write down the last terms because that is what we want to compare. What is B101? Bacho? B101 write down 100 first term of the GP. First term A common ratio 2 raised to power 100 number of terms minus 1. Bacho, what is A1? Can you write down the A1? sorry A101. First term, first term what I am calling as A plus number of terms minus 1 that is 100 common ratio D. Awesome. Now, what should do what? To compare there is no D here, but there is a D here. Can I remove D? Yes. Take this 50 D and put it here. Put it here. See what you get. Put it here. This is 100 D. 100 D is nothing but 50 D multiplied by 2. So, take this, multiply this by 2, put it here. See what you get. See what you get. I have done it for you. See. So, 
what I have got was A plus 100 D, right? So, B 101 is A 2 raise power 100, A 101 is what? A plus 100 D in the place of 100 D, what I am going to do? This 50 D, right? 50 D, I got this already. So, I am going to put this 50 D here, which is 2 times 50 D is 100 D. So, 2 times this. So, 2 times 50 D. Do you realize this is 50 D? 50 D is this. So, 100 D is 2 times this, right? Now, simplify this a bit, you will realize multiply 2 multiplied by 2 raise power 50 is 2 raise power 51, A is outside. Now, this A and what is this 2A into minus 1, minus 2A, A minus 2A is minus A. So, do you realize you get this? Can I take A common outside? 2 raise power 51 minus 1 A, what is this? Bachchou? This is A 101. What is B 101? A 2 raise power 100, let us compare now. So, what is B 101? B 101 bachchou, is A times A times 200, 2 raise power 100. What is A 101? 2 raise power 51 minus 1 into A, which is greater? Obviously, 2 key power 100 is much greater than 2 key power 51. You have decreased it by 1 as well. So, 2 raise power 100 is much, 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 much greater than 2 raise power 51 minus 1, obviously, right? That's it. B101 is greater than A101. That's your second part. Problem solved. Answer is B. S is greater than T and B101 is greater than A101. Option B, you can check is the answer. That's it. Problem solved, right? You can visualize it as well. See, the first term was same of a AP and GP. Then their 51st term was same. Then in the GP, every term is increasing by multiplying by 2, 2, 2. So, the terms are increasing. Each term is increasing with a multiplication of 2, multiplier effect of 2, 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 2 times. Here, all the terms are increasing linearly with a common difference in AP. This difference, this difference, this difference which will become much larger towards the end. The GP should become much larger. Can you visualize this as well? Awesome, bacho. So, this was the problem of today. I hope you warmed up your brain, right? You learned some new concepts. You learned how to approach a J advanced problem. Big sentences, break it into chunks of information that you, that you need to solve the problem. Look for the first hint, how should you start, right? That's it, problem will be solved. Chalo bacho, you have a very nice day, have a very productive day, learning new concepts, solving problems. Wish you all the very best and keep smiling with y equal to x square and don't forget to join this telegram group. See you in the next problem of Brain Gym. Bye-bye.